Uh, today, <coughs> I'm explaining about uh, other tools in Illustrator. Okay, so uh, first, uh, <coughs> create a uh, new file. It can be A4. Okay, so this is A4 uh, horizontal. Okay, uh, the uh, tools row. So yesterday, the before class. <laughs> I explained about the perspective grid and the perspective selection tools. Okay, so now today I'm explaining about this mesh tool. So mesh tool, uh, with mesh tool you can create a, a mesh and you can paint uh, your objects in a realistic way. Okay, in a gradient uh, colors, in a realistic form you can compose your colors. Okay, yes. Uh, how to do? I'll explain today. Uh, for that, uh, I'm importing. <coughs> otherwise I can place my uh, reference image this is okay so generally uh, after tracing this we'll add all the uh, colors and details okay so for that, first I am tracing this. Suppose here we can transform reflector. Yes, okay. <coughs> this I want. Hmm? Then uh, from the uh, layers, so here you can uh, double click here. Okay, say dim to fifty percent. Then okay, then lock it. Okay, and then create uh, the new layer and double click here and of the preview. Okay, say okay. Okay, right. First we have to trace this. There's two parts I'll trace. This is the red portion is one and uh, the green portion is another one. For that, I want only um, the outline. I don't want the fill. Okay. Yes. I'll start with the the red mirchi. You have to trace this neatly. That's very important. shape is very important for that nicely you can trace fast
uh, I'm tracing this so because you have to fill the colors within this So with this direct selection tool, you can adjust these points. Or you can move this. No control Z. So with this anchor point tool, change this anchors. this suppose I deleted that I can adjust this by these handles okay and here you can select this and with this tool you can bend this is you can give some modification small modification here yeah okay, so except this everything is perfect yes so this is my <coughs> actual uh, the main portion of the uh, mirchi okay so you can name it main mirchi main mirchi and you can lock this i can create another layer okay the remain uh, the green portion okay so I'm using the same tool overlap this so later this move under the main mesh
Nazis. <coughs> okay, I'll give the name here. Camper, log this for timing okay, and of the visibility also. Now we want to uh, give the colors for this. So for that, <coughs> what I'll do on the preview, okay, and then uh, from window get the navigator so this is your navigator then we'll understand uh, the mess how the mess is applying and which part it is applying okay so i'm using this suppose here okay so else it is uh, the message disturbing we may this preview disturbing okay and now I'm using this <coughs> mess tool suppose uh, if You click here okay. Okay, so <coughs> I added this mess. Okay, now we have to uh, <coughs> fill the colors. <coughs> okay, <coughs> now what I'll do.
yes uh, now I'm filling this color sir see how can I uh, fill this color after adding the mesh you can select uh, this one one these points okay and that area you can use this you can use this eyedropper tool and take the color and you can fill in preview in navigator it shows your colors okay so it is applying there you can select everything the same way you can select this point suppose if you want uh, a realistic uh, uh, colors you can use this and apply them sometimes you can have the visibility of this and because of the the preview off we are unable to see that okay right <coughs> now you check this yes So you can select each and every uh, point and select that uh, related color. If you want uh, accurate uh, things, accurate colors, just you can select all the those particular areas. at the each area mm, we'll get that realistic uh, the particular realistic uh, uh, colors sometimes you can select these close areas these four parts and you can give the uh, same colors the closer areas if you feel that is uh, almost the same color then you can use them if you want the difference in particular areas then you can uh, choose that Okay, suppose this area you can choose these four points and you can use this uh, color okay now we can uh, select these colors suppose these colors okay and you can uh, use this Suppose here uh, I want to 
delete the diminish yes Suppose this area, I will select all these points and I am giving this color. Not all actually, it is selecting all, all points. I want to select these portions only. And you can give this color. Okay. Yes, the same way. Select this. Suppose these points. select all these points this suppose this selecting all no I don't want all and this 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 and I'll give this color and suppose here this and here I'll give this this color I'm giving Okay, now you can select this by pressing shift we are applying these colors okay. so make it control s so mesh tool mesh tool Okay, and now so in preview, uh, you are yeah, this area, this area now I'm using. this portion this and this ok now here you can give uh, the mesh more mesh to differentiate uh, these colors wherever you want these colors wherever you want uh, the particular colors you want there you have to uh, give the mess okay suppose this now this portions here I want to give uh, these colors yeah for that again you have to uh, select them suppose this and this with the shift can select this okay and now give this color
if you want more real estate so we have to apply these things okay, particularly the areas where you want actually the mess yes <coughs> now this portion I want to give Less. Yeah, this is this is our mixture. It is coming very nice. Okay, so fantastic. this portion this area I'll choose these points I'll choose this point and I'll choose this whiteness yeah. right now here particularly uh, this portion this area choose these points this 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 and give this color okay then you select these points this 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 and you choose this this color and here this portion how to the middle portion first I will uh, fill the colors here this area first here I uh, will choose this So I'm doing the same. Okay. And here, uh, this portion now. 
this control s so this major portion <coughs> we fill with the red Yes, perfect. Now here, <coughs> uh, this portion I want. Uh, this portion. So, uh <coughs> with the direct selection tool, I uh, press A, and you choose this. Anchor points and you can choose the that particular color with the eyedropper tool and fill with it so actually this is very easy really this is very easy ok now this portion I am using select this now here this portion I want to I want uh, one more uh, thread here one more uh, mesh point I want to create uh, the whiteness so I'll click this can fill with this if you want to add uh, new points everywhere so you can create a uh, more mess for that the gradients colors are there more if there is a more gradients colors so you can apply a more mess yes, suppose here I'm going to use this this portion I want to use now yes here I will this portion here this portion this portion I'm using for that fill this and this 
and suppose this and this is okay and use this a uh, dark color yes fantastic now we'll check any other things are pending to see that on the preview and you can check that yes excellent <coughs> but here uh, the somewhere here the top portion still it is pending okay see the gradient colors if you want more uh, if you can add more mesh na, so it can be very interesting this portion I have to add now okay for that of the preview and come to this mode yes now this portion I want yeah here my navigator is showing the preview yes in this portion particularly <coughs> okay now I choose all these points and select this there and this and this and this yes now you can uh, select these colors okay, so this is this is and this is and this is this is and I'm using this in this color yes fantastic so control S okay <coughs> and now this portion come to this area this top edge of the amici <coughs> okay um, for that uh, I can add a uh, one more thread here no not here there yes this is there I click this point and this point in this point and suppose this point okay and give this uh, this lighter color this is <coughs> and now this portion here this portion I think yeah this portion here here I want uh, one more thread not here there yes there I'm uh, selecting these points and give this color okay and now I think this portion yeah this is okay here this colors are added uh, beautifully and you can check once <coughs> yes interesting beautiful here this area I want to do something here here this is this portion this yes for that okay on this can keep there can zoom this okay. and uh, I want to select these portions can choose this 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 can apply this color okay and now select 
because the variations are more more variations we are so to get that more variations we want to fill all these things step Okay, so this are now here. I want to add uh, one more thread, one more uh, a mesh here. Suppose here these points. Select these points. Now mm, select these points. Okay, now uh, control S. And once again, uh, I want to check this. this is almost good this area here I want to do something this portion is really good okay in this portion I want to do uh, something here the more the clarity I want in colors here okay so for that yeah there is this 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 uh, red patch I want yes here this is Okay, so for that, yes, here this portion, this portion, uh, I'll add more thread, and suppose here, yes. yes these points I'll select these points suppose this 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 no not selecting this point this point ok 
okay so this I'll give this patch okay then uh, yes in this area yes here now I'll select these points this 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 Here I want again. I'll check this. Yes, here now I got this. So this portion it is not a um, no clarity in the depths here. So everything this portion is really good this portion okay so here this area I want to do something yes so I'm missing this this so I'll add this I'll add this okay so for that again preview of and come here yes this select this one select this one Select this, select this, select this, select this, select this. Yes. Now here this portion. Here I want more clarity. So there uh, I select this point. Okay, and uh, in this point, okay, and now choose this one, this one, this, 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 and get this one. Okay. Control S. Now I want to check this yeah, by <coughs> switching this preview. This area I want to something. this portion okay this have to remove the whiteness except that almost everything is good have to remove the uh, full whiteness of that here I'll check now here I'll check now select these points okay 
blended glass yeah now this is good it's almost okay uh, the full whiteness I want to remove I don't want that much uh, full white so for that can remove those colors yes now what I'll do mm, fill this uh, the green portion also and then we'll check that later okay, so here uh, we use here we use a uh, mess okay now this also uh, we do photo part select these points so first uh, I'll fill with uh, the white portion because really it takes time see this is because this is uh, an art uh, this this you can
choose these points Okay, so I'll check this. This is perfect. Yeah, this is almost good. And uh, the white patch is there. Except that everything is okay. Okay, anyway. So what I'm doing. Uh, these two I select these two okay and I'll keep a side I'll keep a side unlock this and keep this now uh, do any adjustments if you want uh, by seeing this because here uh, I don't want uh, that pure white of that so for that first uh, mm, I'll give one the background color some grayish okay Yeah, yes, this is you can log this. Now come to here. Now on this, uh, you'll understand. Yes, uh, this red dash. So here, these points you can select and uh, change this. I suppose these points, this, this, remove the of full white I don't want this full white so there uh, we give this color because that is the edge of the mechi okay and here also the same you can choose this point and suppose this point this point this point and this point we can give uh, this color yes now this is good and here I don't want the very flashy white so you can choose this instead of that uh, I use this yes and now I choose this yes perfect okay and now the white Yes. Find any flashy whites and you can change that. Yes. And here this and suppose this 
and this and this also can be a, a normal a white excellent <coughs> and this here this portion this is okay and here it is like a flashy you choose this and you can apply this color Okay, this is good and here in this portion I want to select this portion and choose this right Bam, fantastic this portion this portion also I choose this and you can give uh, this and I'll choose this and uh, give this not this, this and this also you can select and this color no, not that only this point I want to select this and this and give this color yes this color this color this color can be a uh, normal yes yeah this is nice fantastic but here uh, this portion here it is more uh, a bit shiny this portion so you can select these points this point and suppose this point and this point and choose this color suppose this one yes this is really more good mm, fantastic okay now <coughs> their white spark is there so there I want to choose this 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 I'll give this color yes very nice and this shatter pot is there yeah the bo bottom portion Yes, this <coughs> this portion not there so you can lock this
okay <coughs> so this is the uh, way <coughs> using this uh, the mesh tool okay so mesh tool with mesh tool uh, um, generally uh, we create uh, the realistic forms realistic uh, coloring okay see the blendness of the uh, mixy red mixy so almost we imitated uh, okay so then uh, yes you can remove this remove this and here uh, what we are doing change this color into some other color okay and then lock this and here what I'll do uh, select these two okay and control otherwise make it group or otherwise control G or otherwise group this so okay so I group this then there so this can be empty thing yes rename this uh, final mirchi final mirchi name it uh, lock this and here uh, create uh, another layer here or the shadow a shadow so I'm creating this shadow suppose this is otherwise I'll do what I'll do mm, control C control shift to V okay yes this is control C control shift V can transform this yes okay delete this okay so after duplicating that I'm placing here reduce the size of this okay then uh, what you do this layer this can be down okay okay then uh, what I'll do this select this everything and suppose change it into uh, some shade color make it black okay and then uh, what we do uh, reduce this size okay reduce this size and here uh, give some mm, blurness okay so for that from select 
give Gaussian blur. So make preview. Say OK. This is but I want more blurness and not that much blurness I want. Effects and blur, Gaussian blur. This much only I want. Check this. No. Effects blur, Gaussian blur. Yes. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, so always can make effects blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, I'll make it 50, 45. No, it is not getting that. <coughs> so I want to <coughs> give uh, 50. Yeah, this is fantastic. Okay, so this is the uh, final work. So control. C. Okay, <coughs> now I uh, can save this. Export as <coughs> JPEG use artboards. Okay, uh, it is saved. Now you can check this. So this, yeah, mess too. Yes, this is nice, fantastic. Okay, the same way uh, you also have to do this by using this mess tool. Uh, we did this Michi. Okay, so tomorrow I'll explain another tool. If you have any doubt, please ask. Thank you.